What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we have two cool things that we are gonna go over. First and foremost, we are gonna show you how to properly adjust your side mirrors to eliminate blind spots in pretty much any vehicle. As you guys know, we do a lot of car reviews and particularly whenever I film a Camaro, people call me out and say, why are you saying this car has good visibility? Honestly, from what I've seen, if you adjust them properly, every car has perfectly fine visibility. So we're gonna show you that. On top of that, if you wanna further your visibility, we have a really cool modification for the Tacoma from Suma Performance. So Mike, tell me what we got here. So we have wide angle side mirrors that you can get for a few different vehicles. Check out their website. We'll have that down in the description below. So I think this is going to be very beneficial for the Tacoma. This is a big truck. It's not a full size truck, but we can at least show you guys a good before and after for a pickup truck and show you also with the blind spots for this with the other vehicles that we have. So if you want to get the camera up and over the top here, Brian will go ahead and show you just how much more you can see on that right side. So this is the stock mirror over here. And then we have the wide angle on the right side. Yeah, you can see the top of the mic to my chest. If I go over to the stock one, top of the mic at the top, it's only my neck. So crazy how much different this wide angle lens is gonna do. Like, look at that. And then picking up this, you cannot see nearly as much. So that's gonna be pretty sweet. We also have some ceramic spray, so they carry this as well. I think we'll use this on the side mirrors here just to keep them cleaner. So definitely check out Sumo Performance. Now we're gonna put you guys inside the GTR, show you how to properly align your side mirrors, then we'll get these installed on the truck and see how much more visibility we have. So in the GTR, here is basically how I adjust my side view mirrors. So when you sit in your car like normal, put your head at the exact position it would be when you're normally driving, seats already comfortable. The way I do it, I keep my head straight and I turn as far left as I want to and I keep my view on the side view mirror. From there, that's when I adjust that side view mirror to where I can just barely not see my own car. A lot of people, they keep their side view mirror to where you can see your car when your head's straight. If your head is straight, you don't need to see your car in your side view mirror. It's completely pointless because your car never changes. It's always right back there. So when you do it with your head crooked, it actually pokes that side view mirror out a little bit more to where you're really seeing what's going on in that blind spot. Same thing on your passenger side. So then flipping around to where you guys can get a POV of this. If I look up in my rear view, of course, it's gonna show you everything you can see out of your center view glass. And then over on this right side, notice how you cannot see my car. So if I have this lined up to where my eyes are, which is right around here, and then if I play with the adjustments, a lot of people will make it to where they can see their door handle or something. You want to poke it out farther to where it's just at the edge of your car. See, your car's always over there anyways, so you don't need to see any closer than the edge of your car. And then if I look at this side, same thing, where my eyes are, you can see how my car is not in view. And once again, a lot of people will have it to where you can see this much of your car. So if my head is straight and I just turn my head over, do your mirror about there and you will eliminate all the blind spots. So watch this, we're gonna have Mike come up now and he is going to go uh, as if he's passing me. And you can see how from here, I can see him in my side or in my rear view mirror. He's still in my rear view mirror and uh, he's almost out of it. So he's gonna stop right there. But in my mirror, look, he's completely in that view mirror. Now, if he keeps coming up a little bit, once he gets out of this side view mirror, look, he's already over my shoulder. So with the mirror adjusted like that, he never left any of my visibility. He was either in that mirror, in that mirror, or right over my shoulder. So then flipping around now, we're gonna see how that exact same test works in my passenger view mirror. Because like I said, with the Camaro and other smaller cars, over your right shoulder, if you have a really bulky C-pillar, that's where the blind spot is. So let's see if he never leaves my sight with these mirrors set up. So we're gonna watch this rear view mirror once again, and he's gonna pretend as if he's passing, but already, he's already in both mirrors. You can see them both at the same time. So he's never leaving that. And by the time he's still in it, look, he's already there, still in the mirror. So as you can see, with my mirrors adjusted properly, just poked out that extra inch, the vehicles that are gonna be passing me on the left and right are always in one of these three mirrors or always literally right next to me on either side. It doesn't matter if you have a huge C-pillar like in a Camaro or a 370Z or a mid-engine car like the Audi R8. You know, we do a lot of car reviews filming all sorts of cars and visibility is never an issue. The only time where visibility really can be an issue is backing up. If you have a tiny rear glass and no backup camera, that can be a little challenging but general driving with traffic left and right of you when you're passing or when they're passing you, 
you adjust your mirrors like that, you don't have any issues. So now let's install some wide angle mirrors on the Tacoma and show you a before and after on how much better that is. So then now into the truck, we already have this left side installed, but the before and after we're gonna show you is over on the passenger side. So right now you can see how I have the mirror set just like I told you how to do it in the GTR. If I turn my head way over, there's the edge of the truck. But with my head in the normal position, I cannot see the truck, which again, I don't need to see the truck, but the GGR is perfectly in view. So same thing goes, any vehicle you have, adjust your mirrors that exact same way. But now we're gonna show you how to install that mirror and we'll show you the differences between this view and then the wide angle view. So onto the installation now, depending on the side mirrors that you have, you may have a cap like I do on my Tacoma. You don't necessarily have to take this off on the Tacoma, but we did find it to be helpful. So again, whatever side mirror you may have, you may just have to pop the glass out itself. So on these, I've already taken them off, so it's gonna be much easier the second time around, but there's basically tabs and you can see just how easy, well, easy that was. It's going to be a little bit harder. You're gonna feel like you might be breaking it off, but as long as you have all the tabs on the backside, you will be good to go. So with that out of the way, we do have two connections on the back side. Now on the Suma Performance website, you can actually spec these side mirrors depending on what technology you have. So I got the defrosters in mind. You can get the blind spot monitoring if you have that on your vehicle. You can also get different tints, different shades and colors. So just depending on what spec you want for your side mirror, they have a few different options. So on mine, I just have the defroster. So on the back side, I just have these two connections. And then the hardest part is basically popping this out. Now on the back side, on this specific mirror, there's four tabs. There's two on the top and two on the bottom. And what we found doing the driver's side is it's a little bit easier to start on the bottom. This may be the same with other side mirrors as well. And I'm trying to get as much as my hand behind this mirror because I don't want to crack it, of course. So the more surface area I can cover, the easier it is to pop. And we did find that having the end cap off there's a few, there's one tab on the side that we got a flat head in just to help kind of wiggle it out. Now I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and try to pull this off or do it like we just did. I can even hold the corner can you? to push against it. Because we did, actually we did find, there, there we go. go, okay. So just a nice firm pull, oh wow, that was way easier. Okay, just a nice firm pull and you'll see these are the four tabs right here. Nothing's broken, they just pop right out. And then for these two connections here, we found that a flat head Kind of helped pop them off without taking the glue off for the connection and you can just pop these plugs right off so now with the new mirror we have the same attachments on the back side i'm going to plug in this portion last so all i need to do is line it up we're going to be getting the mirror all dirty here that's going to make it a little bit easier to to pop in now on the other side it did it did take us a little bit of time to line this up but just kind of work one corner at a time as I'm not getting it. I think it, it helps yeah. if we put it straight. I can see one of them right in here. I can take the flathead and hold the mirror adjustment part you got straight. It. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then he can push against me and we'll be able to pop this back into place. We got the one corner in. I got one more to go, this upper corner here. Yeah, from the backside, I can just hold it, the backside with this, so you can see where this is. Right there. There we go. So that is, that is all four. So that's the new mirror. Now we just have to attach this. If you have a different mirror, you know, just depends on what you have on the back side. Yeah, just plug everything back in and we'll put the cap on and then we'll get this thing adjusted. And then back in the Tacoma, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the side mirror back to where it should be, where I can just barely see the Tacoma. And now if you look, when my head is turned, there's a lot more visible area around the GTR, in fact, you can even see the truck more just because it's so wide angle and I can probably see more on the right side over here. So we'll play a quick back-to-back -back clip of the way the GTR sits right now versus the way it is with the stock mirror. But definitely a big difference as far as how much more visibility you do get, especially with a wide angle set of mirrors. And with the new side mirrors installed, we're gonna take their ceramic coating, just lightly coat both of these side mirrors. That will help give them a great coating and help avoid any water spots, anything like that. So we have perfect visibility out of these mirrors. Of course, you can use this on paint, your calipers, your wheels, just to keep your vehicle looking in great shape. So it's nice that they offer that. But yeah, that's a video that honestly, I've been wanting to film this video since I was in college. It's back, been a while. Back in college, actually, a Porsche race car driver who worked at the Porsche dealer, he told me that that's the best way to adjust mirrors to eliminate visibility issues 
and since then I have never had issues with visibility and every time I review a car I never say that has bad visibility because I adjust them like that and then especially on a truck these are kind of like tow mirrors now which is great if you're towing something you'll have even better visibility and they do make them for the Supra as well so for all you Supra guys the A90 guys uh, they have them for you as well I noticed a huge difference just in the driveway here so I'm excited to get this out on the road and really see how it does yeah, definitely a worthwhile product and plug and play direct fit OE so definitely a super sweet product for sure. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. Give the video a huge thumbs up. Definitely check out Sumo Performance. All that info is down in the description below. And consider smashing that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on our daily uploads. We'll see you guys in the next video.